Then there's this. In the future, people will use elevator machines to get around, and they will always be rushing to catch the elevator. So I created a button called Open Door, which will hold the door open. Ah, yes. And we will have another button called Close Door, <laughs> which will do nothing. Inventing something takes a lot of trial and error. It takes years of persistence and sacrifice. In this case, many inventors sacrificed their own lives while trying to improve their inventions. From the invention of a flying car to an invention of a human parachute gone wrong. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 inventors destroyed by their inventions. Starting off this countdown, we have Henry Smolinski. Henry Smolinski was the inventor of the flying car. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Well, at least he tried to create a flying car. But he's on this list, so as you know, it didn't quite work out for him. So Henry, along with his partner, Hal Blake, created this by pairing together a car and a plane. He took the wings of an aircraft and configured it onto a car. As you can imagine, they had quite a difficult time with this. During the first test, they experienced engine failures. In 1973, they encountered trouble with the plane wings. On September 11th, 1973, Henry and Hal were taking their invention for a spin when the wings detached from the vehicle during a test flight. The car crashed down into a pickup truck and burst into flames. Apparently, a bad welding job was responsible for this. Sadly, the two inventors lost their lives. Coming in at number nine, we have Thomas Midgley Jr. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. So he was an American engineer and chemist. Sadly, when he was 51 years old, he contracted polio, but that didn't stop him from inventing. In fact, he created a system to help others lift him out of bed. He did this with a complex system of strings and pulleys, but in 1944, he became trapped in the ropes and was strangled to death by them. He passed away at the hand of his invention. In our eighth spot, we have William Bullock. William Bullock was an American inventor who created the rotary printing press in 1863. This invention helped revolutionize the printing industry greatly. The press could print up to 12,000 sheets an hour, and later it could print as many as 30,000 sheets an hour. Sadly, William passed away while trying to repair it. His foot ended up getting crushed under the machine after trying to kick a pulley into place. He survived the incident, but later his foot developed gangrene after getting infected. He passed away while getting his foot amputated. Coming in at number seven, we have Henry Winstanley. Henry Winstanley was the inventor of the first Eddystone lighthouse. The lighthouse was eight feet high and 24 feet in diameter. His other designs failed, but he had high hopes with this one. In fact, he wished, and I quote, to be in the lighthouse during the greatest storm that ever was. And well, his wish did come true. On November 14th, 1698, the lighthouse became operational. Here's the thing. Over the years, the lighthouse began to deteriorate. One night, there was a huge storm warning and Henry would get his wish to be in the lighthouse during a storm. But the lighthouse was no match for the powerful storm. That night, the lighthouse collapsed, taking the lives of Henry and five other men. Moving on to number six, we have Marie Curie, a great chemist who won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1903. Curie is known for a number of things. She discovered the elements radium and polonium. Due to her work and research, she is credited with inventing radiography or x-rays. Sadly for her work, she was often exposed to radiation. This was before they knew the dangerous effects that ionizing radiation has on the body. She would often do her experiments in a shed with no safety measures. And apparently she used to carry around test tubes containing radioactive isotopes in her pocket. She even kept them in her desk drawer. So yeah, that's not safe. In July of 1934, she passed away from a plastic anemia as a result of her exposure to radiation. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Alexander Bogdanov. Alexander can be thanked for the invention of blood transfusions. That has saved countless lives. But he started doing blood transfusions to see if there were any rejuvenating effects. All throughout the 1920s, he was running experiments on this to try and achieve eternal youth. He had 11 blood transfusions and was adamant that it was helping him. He claimed it improved his eyesight and stopped his balding. Sadly, on his 12th transfusion, something went wrong. He exchanged a liter of blood with a physics student but they had traces of tuberculosis and malaria in the blood. After the transfusion, his body began shutting down. 
On April 7th, 1928, his heart failed and he passed away. In our fourth spot, we have Sylvester H. Roper. Sylvester was responsible for inventing the world's first motorcycle. How it worked was it was basically a bicycle with a steam engine attached. For 13 years, he used his invention. It was cool, but it didn't go very fast. In 1896 though, he got it to go up to 40 miles per hour. On June 1st, 1896, Sylvester took his invention out for a ride to show off his new speed. However, while on the ride, he actually suffered from a heart attack, or so they believe. He wiped out and then passed away. To the witnesses around, they say the vehicle went off course and then crashed into the sand. But according to the autopsy, he had a heart attack, lost control, and then crashed. In our third spot, we have Horace Lawson Hunley. Horace Lawson Hunley invented the submarine, but it was never as successful as he wanted. His first design ended up trapping seven sailors underwater. They all sadly passed away. So he went back to working on it to make it bigger and better. But his second model was a fail again. The submarine sank in Mobile Bay, Alabama. But that didn't get him down. He made another model. Sadly, this model took his life. On October 15th, 1863, Hunley decided to go on board of the submarine while running another test. Sadly, it sunk again and Hunley, along with some crew members, were trapped underwater. Some did manage to survive, but Hunley did not. In our second spot, we have Valerian Abakovsky. He is responsible for inventing the Aero Wagon, which was a propeller-driven rail car. His goal was to use it to transport officials quickly across the Soviet Union. The car had an aircraft engine attached to it and propeller traction. It could go up to 87 miles per hour. On July 24th, 1921, Valerian, along with some other men, decided to take the vehicle from Moscow to Tula to test it out. They successfully reached their destination. However, they never made it back. On the way home, the aero wagon derailed and seven out of the 22 men on board passed away, including Valerian. And in our number one spot, we have Franz Rieschelt. On February 4th, 1912, inventor Franz climbed to the top of the Eiffel Tower. His plan was to jump off and use the suit he made to fly down to the ground. The suit he wore was a wearable parachute and resembled just a big cloak. At first, he said he would test the suit out with a dummy, but that day, for some reason, he said he was going to make the jump himself. Although past attempts with the dummy failed, he was still determined to try his invention out himself. Around 8.22 that morning, he was on top of the Eiffel Tower. He stood there proud and then stepped off the ledge. Sadly, the parachute folded around his body immediately and he plummeted down to the ground. He left a 5.9 inch crater in the ground. And as you can imagine, his injuries were gruesome. But apparently an autopsy revealed that he passed away from a heart attack during his fall. So when he hit the ground, he was already dead. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these inventions you found the craziest. And now speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 scary real life ancient curses. These are commented, if it's a Lindsay video, it's an automatic like from me. That's what I like to hear. It's another video for me. Hit that thumbs up button. Come on guys, can we get this to 2000 likes? Likes, I think we can. Hit that thumbs up button, do it for me. G3 Liam Andre Augustine commented, you're my favorite host, love you in, in your vids and your posters, ha 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 ha. Thank you, I really like my background too, but these are actually old vintage records, not posters, fun fact, but thank you. Michelle Robinson commented, hey Lindsay, I get my peaches, peaches for free. Not a lot of people would uh, understand that reference, but I do. Peaches come from a can, they were put there by a man. Guys, millions of peaches, peaches for free. Great song. Anyway, all right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.